Hello, hello guys, this is Danny from Server73. And well, um, I was speaking with my fellow press officer friend Broly from 38, and he was telling me that finally 38 got through Golden Path from the last update, the one of the most weighted artifacts in the game, and it's this one that will release. Tokugawa one, the golden blunder boss for Tokugawa Ieyasu, and well, this uh, said the uh, thunder ray from crackling thunder duration increased by 7.5 seconds. I will explain how it looks, but I like the design, and I'm pretty much excited. Also, let's see how deep you pee Real quick, real, 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 real quick. Okay, anyway, so let's see how his skill works, and then we're gonna talk about it. Crackling Thunder. So it says grant all ally units with shields that absorbs physical damage, absorbs absorption rate to 300% for 6 seconds. Tuguga himself gains, this is where the artifacts work, Thunder Array. Every time he receives a normal attack, he will apply a random negative effect. Damage received increased by 10%, damage decreased by 10%, attack speed decreased by 10%, energy regen speed decreased by 10% on the attacker for 6 seconds. How... what it means? So every time he casts Crackling Thunder, he gains this thing called uh, Thunder Ray for 6 seconds. So every time he gets hit by the enemy, the enemy gains a debuff and it's pretty crazy, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I think this is six seconds. So every time when he use um, the artifacts, the a skill goes up to 1.5 seconds. And well, no one here has it, so I can show through the 73 arena. But I have training camps. I set a team. I will uh, show the skills I'm using. It's completely free to play, friendly. Uh, it has uh, paralysis, physical shield. Fighting Master, Assist, Energy Suppression, Weakness, Annihilation, Fire Nova, Toxin Nova, Dead Breath, Berserker, and Anger, also the exclusive artifact for Genghis Khan, regular artifact for um, Hammurabi, exclusive artifact for Richard, and exclusive artifact for uh, Tokugawa Yes. Dragon level 5, 50, and everything's um, biggest class, I think, yeah. So, let's watch this. Tokugawa is in front of Alex, so let's see how it works. He's having um, control immunity through Fighting Master, so looking forward how it's gonna look like. Okay, cast the skill. Just the dragon stuff doesn't let me watch. Let's see all the damage, all the all the all the debuffs he has. Energy suppression, damage received, attack speed, stuff, damage received, like it's decreasing constantly. And just out speeds going down I don't know who's gonna win honestly <laughs> Also, Hannibal should be winning since uh, Wind has an ab elemental advantage over Lightning, and you, now you just seen Lightning going hard on him. Um, there is something I would like to test, and you guys wanna watch me testing. Um, I will set take Berserk, we'll switch and put Dwell Master. Where is Dwell Master? There he is. Because I'm interested in the immunity control.
I don't think it works on him that much. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he died. It's okay. I was just testing. So, from what you saw in the last battle, um, you can saw Alex just getting debuff after debuff, uh, dam reducing damage stuff, attack speed that reduce, um, energy suppression, which doesn't carry, doesn't, energy suppression doesn't affect um, Alex that much anymore. I mean, it doesn't affect Alex at all because he doesn't gain energy thanks to his explosive artifact. So, yeah. Anyway, this is how. Tokugawa's kill artifact looks like and works like and I think it's pretty good if you can get it I honestly recommend it it has a pretty design it has a pretty good buff and you're gonna see it working nicely against some enemies I wish I could test it against uh, Holy but I don't have a Menko so I can test as much as I want Whew. Anyway, this is Dante from Server 73. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you in the next one.